can you edit video on a $150 laptop that I bought on Amazon? I went out and I searched for the cheapest name brand laptop that I could buy on Amazon to see if you could do creator tasks with it. Now I have it hooked up to an external hard drive. The reason being is this has 64 gigs of internal storage, which is not upgradable, four gigs of RAM, and it's a Celeron processor from Intel. So you're required to run a video edit to have an external drive plugged in because there's not even enough space to add files to the computer in order to edit them. So if you even attempt this, this is gonna be your ticket. Now I'm opened up in Premiere Pro with a 1080p project. As you can see here, I have some motion graphics on the timeline and I go to move up the timeline and it's pretty laggy, pretty slow already. But here's some motion graphics uh, I have and some extra B-roll and video and some audio. And now I'm gonna try and edit this 1080p video. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening, actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and hit playback and see if it'll even play back in the timeline. So let's go ahead and hit it. Okay, it's playing back and we have 71 drop frames right off the bat. Now there's 16,177 in this project total. It's about a nine minute 1080p project. And now I'm about four seconds in, five seconds in, and we've dropped 436 frames. So I'm not making any promises. And as you can see from the screen capture, it is jumpy as can be. Now remember this is 1080p, this isn't even 4K footage and it's really struggling. Now, I've talked to a lot of people about the minimum price for a video editing laptop, and people get mad at me when I start them at a budget of around $650 to $800. And the reason being is you don't want to edit video like this. It is choppy. It is frustrating. It's overwhelming to try and create a project with performance that lags so greatly, which is why I start people out at that price point. So keep in mind, if you want to edit video, you're going to have to be around the $650 to $800 range at a starting point for 1080p to 4K video editing projects. I I want to see a laptop with 16 gigs of RAM. I want to see a laptop with an i7 1165G7 or an i5 1135G7 at a minimum for 1080p video editing. From there, as you move up into more modern CPUs, like last gen, you want to get the i7 1250P or the i5 1250P or the i7 1260P, right? Looking at Ryzen, we're going to look for processors like the Ryzen 5 5500U or the 5600U or the Ryzen 7 5800U, right? These are a couple of generations older. You should be able to get these laptops for a pretty decent deal. So these are laptops that I think are good for video editing, but they're going to be around the $650 to $850 range at a starting point. So again, I don't want you to spend $150 on a laptop than $100 on a drive to only not even be able to edit the footage that you are attempting to edit. Now, let's talk about the export time of this laptop, being that 
we're technically only 14 seconds in, and I know I've been talking for over a minute. So that proves that this thing isn't even keeping up. In fact, if you watch the seconds on the timeline, once it gets to a certain point, it's actually been cutting back. So it won't even play through the project. It'll get up, it'll get up, and then it'll cut back, and then it'll get up and it'll get it'll cut back because the processor is struggling so hard to play back this footage. All right, so if you wanna export this project, this is a nine minute project, 1080p, little bit of motion graphics, little bit of B-roll. It'll take 59 minutes to export this project. And this is 1080p. A modern $800 to $1,000 laptop can export 4K video, nine minute project in about three minutes and 45 seconds. So you have double the resolution at a fraction of the export time. And that's what spending the right amount of money will do. Now, I know you might be saying, well, I don't have that money. And for me, I understand that. When I was first getting into graphic design and then starting to get into video editing, I had to do all kinds of side work and side projects and side hustles to get to a point where I could purchase the laptop I truly needed because you don't wanna be stuck on a cheap laptop, not even be able to execute the projects and you put yourself even farther behind. So do what you have to do, hustle to get the right laptop. Punch for punch, can you edit video on a $150 laptop? I would say no, you cannot. This laptop is not up to par for a smooth video editing experience that will actually give you good results. Curious about my top video editing laptop recommendations, click or tap the screen here, and I'll see you over in that video.